G'day folks and welcome to uh, episode 24 of Gourmet's Shed. Uh, this one's about windows, uh, making more realistic windows. Now this one uh, I don't really know anything about because uh, I've only just started playing around with this idea myself. So at this stage you know as much as I do. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, fiddle around a bit on the uh, computer and uh, see if we can make up a more realistic looking window as opposed to the uh, the ones that you get in the standard kits. So uh, let's have a crack at it and uh, see what happens. Right folks, the first thing we'll do is open Photo Filter, my drawing program, or photo manipulation program actually on the computer and I'm searching through my files of windows that I've downloaded from the internet to find uh, a suitable file to work on and uh, so we're just scrolling through them here this looks like a bit of potential here we'll try this one and we'll open that in photo filter now we want to get rid of the rest of the building there so we just want the, uh, the window so I've taken the uh, rectangular selection tool and I'm going to select this window and then I'm going to uh, crop the image from the drop down menu uh, which will just leave us with the window so we'll crop that. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I think I would also like to remove the window panes. You don't have to, you can cut these out later on, but I think we'll do that in this case. So we'll select the window pane, and then from the drop down menu, we will select cut, which will eliminate that pane from the image we have there at the moment. And we'll do that for all three of the panes, and then um, once we've got that done, uh, we can save this file and then we'll move into uh, a drawing program I've got in Open Office where we'll um, have a bit more control over it as well as to um, printing and all that sort of thing. But uh, first things first, we'll get this done and uh, sort it out and then we'll move on. Okay, now we'll go into Open Office and we'll open the drawing program and uh, from there we'll drop the menu down to insert a picture from file which is the uh, picture that we've just manipulated in um, photo filter and it's this one here so I'll select that and that puts that into uh, the drawing program now the size is obviously incorrect so I have to go up and find um, position and size actually that's wrong try that again position and size and I'm going to make this window 6 foot by 3 foot so we'll change the dimensions to reflect that in uh, millimeters so we're looking at 12 millimeters and uh, 24 millimeters so we'll get those sizes set up and, uh, and then lock that in and uh, that will make the window considerably smaller now we'll just move it up to the top left hand corner of the page here and uh, now I can zoom in on it and um, I would like to add a bit more area around it so that you can actually glue into the back of a model so we'll create this rectangle and then we'll put that behind the picture so we've selected uh, send to the back there now the color could be closer to the actual window color so um, what we'll do is have a look at that we'll change the color to one of these greys here, no that could be a bit darker I feel we'll select another one, okay there we are now what we want to do is uh, combine these two elements, the background and the window into one so I uh, select all and then uh, use the sub menu and go up to group now when you group that combines them all together and you can prove that by moving the uh, item around so they all move as one so what we'll do now is move that up to the uh, top corner of the page. Uh, this makes things easier for printing. You know, you don't want to waste all your paper with items all over the place. Now we'll copy that and then uh, we'll paste and uh, we'll make some copies of this. So we'll probably make about six windows and we'll just run them across the top of the page here. So we'll go through that process now. Uh, copying and, and well not copying again but pasting and uh, placing these items across the top of the page. Uh, we'll just zoom out a bit to uh, get a better 
their idea of how they're sort of sitting together there. Um, you can't always work with it zoomed in. You need to see what's the, the big picture, what's going on. So one more should do it, I think. So I'll just add another one in. And uh, what we'll do then is uh, save the file just as the uh, a drawing file so that uh, we can come back and make any changes we need to at any time but also um, we, we've got to consider printing now so we'll we'll save the file as uh, Windows and uh, and then that'll be kept on the computer for further use if it's needed so there we go and we'll save that and uh, we're done there okay, for the folks, moment. This is how they've come out uh, I've printed this on um an A4 self-adhesive sheet. Uh, you can buy this stuff in uh, packets. Uh, it's like a large label, I suppose. And uh, what I propose doing is uh, I'll cut that uh, top strip off and uh, as, as square as I can, which leaves me this sheet of paper to uh, feed through the, uh, the printer once again if I need to print some more. So um, I'll, I'll get that sorted out and we'll have a look at it. Well folks, the first method I used uh, was this one where I've um, taken the uh, the printout and um, peeled the back off and stuck it to some clear acetate and the method I'd heard about was that you then cut through the uh, parts you want to remove and then uh, just lift them off and uh, that worked absolutely perfect for this first pane here but every other pane after that uh, it was a disaster. Uh, the paper wouldn't lift off uh, properly. The glue is that good that it was sticking very well and uh, the paper was actually coming off in layers and, and I had to scrape it off and by the time I got to this one here I thought this is a waste of time. This is not going to work and you've got all these uh, glue marks and everything on the panes. So uh, that was pretty much a uh, big flop. But you don't know this until you try these things. And so <clears throat> what I did instead was uh, print it out again. And uh, I've gone through <clears throat> uh, just on the paper alone and um, cut out the sections. I've cut out the, uh, the panes. And uh, when I've, I mean, you don't have to go all the way through. You can leave the backing paper there if you want to, but you can go all the way through. I've cut the panes out and then I've cut the actual window out and then I've stuck it onto some um, acetate and uh, and then um, I just cut around the acetate to match the edge of the uh, the window frame and and this is how it's come out um, it's pretty good actually and uh, what, what you get is this sort of uh, shading uh, on the the window frame that you don't get on the uh, printed uh, ones that uh, come with the kits so uh, and also you know, you've got to bear in mind that this I've added extra frame around here and that's purely for gluing to the back of the uh, card in a model so you would see a, a thin framed uh, window on the model uh, so uh, for the the uh, adhesive paper I have um, I think this is uh, this is the way to go. I mean, really, it's uh, the same result. You've still got to cut out uh, out the panes, uh, whichever way you go. But uh, at least I know this way is going to be a clean way uh, to do it. So there you go. So that's all there is to it. And I mean, um, you know, you can uh, pinch windows from anywhere, uh, photographs of windows, and and make them your own. And uh, with the software, you can uh, you can make the windows um, the size to suit the model as well. So um, that that's it. So um, there you go. Interesting. It was uh, good in one way and a failure in another way. But uh, that's the way we go with these things. You don't know unless you try. Well, folks, there you go. What do you reckon? Uh, it's not bad, um, you know, you can certainly get uh, an improvement, I think, on the, the standard kit uh, windows. And, uh, you know, it, the uh, the window has that sort of uh, rough sort of texture to it that a, a normal, realistic, real prototype window would have. So there you go. Anyway, it's worth a go. What do you reckon? 
Uh, anyway, I should uh, point out that um, Gourmet Shed on YouTube uh, won't be around for a couple of weeks. Uh, it's uh, yearly maintenance for the Gourmet Engineering Department, so we've got a number of things to do here. But uh, if you still want to catch up with any Gourmet Shed, uh, you can certainly find them on uh, platform1mrc.com. Just uh, have a look at the website for those folks that don't normally go there. Just have a look at the website and uh, there'll be still some Gourmet Sheds running on there. And uh, any other interests you may have uh, could well be catered for as well. So just have a look through the site and I'm sure you'll find it most interesting. Okay, cheers for now. Gourmet.